I don't think I'll ever get used to putting my finger up a water buck's anus. Sorry, buddy. I, I wouldn't apologize, Jen. It's one less thing he has to do for himself today. <laughs> We want to know what effect the animals are having on this ecosystem. And to do that, I have to know what they're eating. To find out what they're eating, I have to look at their poop. It's full of pellets. Jeez, when you get a fecal sample, you don't mess around. Just want to be as thorough as possible. In Gorongosa National Park, most of the wildlife was wiped out during the Mozambican Civil War. You want to start on the measurements and I'll... Uh... Waterbuck, on the other hand, have become 10 times more abundant than they were before the Civil War. If we want to understand why the waterbuck are doing so well, we have to know what their daily lives are like. The best way to do that is not just collecting poop, but also these critter cam collars. Oh, she wouldn't let him stab me. <laughs> it generally takes us less than 10 minutes to go through the whole process and then administer the reversal drug so they wake up right away. You know, if you were abducted by aliens and you don't really remember any of it, I imagine that's how a waterbuck feels after this experience. How much was still in there for me to get? When the animal wakes up and walks off, the collars will start logging their GPS locations and the cameras will start shooting video. It's giving us a totally unprecedented view of life as a waterbuck. 